What's up, Matt from Oats Fab. This is day seven on the recovery truck build. All right, first job today is gonna to be to make the um, bar running across the back of the cab. The uh, like protection bar to stop cars hitting the back of the cab. And um, I bought some of these LED spotlights, which are gonna sit on top of that as well. I did actually buy some new LED rear lights as well, but they're such dog sh that I don't even want to put them on, so stick with those for now. I'm also going to put some little tabs on that bar uh, so that the front wheel of a motorbike can sort of locate in between the two tabs, and I'll have some tie down points on top of that bar for strapping motorbikes up to the back of that bar, basically. And then once I've, once that's done, I'm then going to take the bed off, so I'm going to have to unbolt it all and then try and lift it up enough so that I can drive the truck out and then flip it over on its side and weld everything underneath. So, uh, not sure how easy that's going to be. So my evolution saws just died. It's got a real strong smell of electrical burning and uh, it's just knocked all the power out. Now I've noticed the last few days I've had the electric tripping a couple of times so I think there might be something going on. The brushes look fine, not worn out. It's got a phone number on the side, let's phone them up and see what they say. I just, uh, Phone that number on the side, and uh, they said that it's got a three year warranty on it. And as long as I can find the um, proof of purchase receipt, which might be difficult, um, then they'll collect it and sort it out. So that's a result. Can't really, uh, can't really grumble at that. Obviously, it's a little bit inconvenient for right now, but you know, these things do happen. At least, uh, at least they're going to sort it. Got them cut with the abrasive saw, which is just, once you've had one of those cold cut saws, it's just horrible using those. It's so, it makes so much mess. This is boiling hot. So, I'm just gonna put these basically in like that. And that'll be my, you know, crash ever crash into anything to stop it coming forward if the strap was to break or anything like that I guess. So now I'm going to start unbolting all this.
Now we get to see how heavy is she. So now I've got to work out how I'm going to um, lift this up so I can drive out. Alright, that was a bit of a ball ache, but done it in the end. So I can basically just weld everything that I can get to here, drop it down, lift it up the other side, do the same again, and then I really don't think the whole thing's going to weigh very much done, especially with the, you know, alley sheet on top, doesn't really weigh a lot. Yeah, I think I'm going to be under my target.
So those last bits of steel will be here tomorrow. I can do the little diagonals. Finish welding on my little end bar thing. Cap the ends of the box off. Weld the uh, shackle rings in. And I think that is it. So that's it for this one. Cheers for watching. See ya.